This is Wichita's Biz That Is on KGPT, and I'm Tim Witzman, president of the Wichita Independent Business Association. And I have a fun guest today, Carol Scapp with Colmia Marketing. And when we began, what's interesting to me is the journey, kind of where did you start uh, before we get to talking about the company? And take your time, because it's, it's interesting. People take me down some interesting byways on this. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I, I started as a volunteer for Shakespeare in the Park. But now, are you from here? I am from here. Okay. I'm a native Wichitan, and um, I, but as I was studying um, English, I was an English major, because mm. I've always loved language, and um, I noticed that there was a local arts company, and they were putting on Shakespeare shows, and Shakespeare was one of my great loves in, in high school and college. And so I decide, well, I, I think I'll just uh, volunteer for these folks. It looks like a great cause, and they were fun shows. And, um, and as I always tell students, if you're volunteering, they can't fire you if you mess up. So, um, so I started doing public relations for Shakespeare in the Park, and that was a very, very long time ago. Um, I loved it so much, and I had a, a you know, certain amount of success at it. And... I decided this is what I want to do for a living. And uh, I also happened to have two sisters who were in the language arts mm -hmm. and one of them who went into advertising and that, that kind of paved the way for me. Uh, we mentioned the Shakespeare. That took me back. Uh, when I was in high school, there was a contest in Indianapolis on current events mm -hmm. and I won the contest and it was the complete works of Shakespeare. Ah. It was kind of onion skin paper. Oh. But I did get to read everything. Oh, I hope you still have that book. That, no, that's one I'd love stolen. to have on my shelf. It got stolen. Aww. I don't know when that was. Yeah. Somewhere in all those school years, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so we're into the business now. Take me a little bit about the journey to get to where you are today. Well, you know, I have been very fortunate that I've had the opportunity to work for advertising agencies as well as in the corporate world. And that, I think, has shaped me in many ways. Uh, for one thing, when I was in the corporate world, um, I was also a client of an ad agency. So mm -hmm. I remember mm -hmm. what that's like to work with an agency and to wonder about things. How do they make money? Why am I being charged? What am I being charged <laughs> for? And um, that, that perspective has given me, um, you know, a valuable customer service um, insight for our clients. So I worked for um, Fourth Financial Corporation, um, which, you know, that hasn't been around for a long time, so that's been a while. I, I was a marketing officer for them. I also worked for Pioneer Balloon Company, um, another great Wichita born corporation. They are. We've had Ted and Betty on the show. Uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, without a doubt, probably the most valuable uh, work experience I ever had. Um, it, it shaped me in many ways. Um, I also was very lucky to work at small and medium and large agencies. So I know... So let me stop you. Yeah. Tell me a little about the advantage of each. Okay. What did you learn at each? You know, um, advertising agency business models are all uh, different and in, intricate in different ways. Um, at a small agency, you work with um, a small staff that have deep skill sets. And those are people who love doing a variety of things. They mm -hmm. don't want to be pigeonholed. They don't want to just copyright. Right. They want to do everything. And, you know, some of us love that. I, I've also worked with people who they like to close their door and they want to just write all day and they don't want to be disturbed. And, uh, you know, the, the, that the latter part, people who specialize, you're more likely to find them at a large agency. Mm -hmm. um, large agencies are great. Uh, the, the, what I feel is great about our small business model is that we have deep skill sets and then we have a very wide array of independent vendors that we work with. We don't pay them direct under our roof. They're not, um, they're not employees, but we pay them Contract. as independent contractors. 
And in that way, we have a you know very broad array of different services we can offer to our clients. Yeah. Ad agencies that are large, uh, you know, they employ all those people direct, which is wonderful. Um, however, in in my case, I chose to go a different route and to to have a lower, um, uh, I guess, a, a lower overhead and you know, be able to control more aspects of my client work. Yeah, WIBA does the same thing with the independent contractors. Very efficient way yeah. to do things. We yeah. have one for consulting on insurance since we're so big in insurance. We had one on um, communications and then couldn't afford that for a while. Yeah. Um, and we have contract lobbyists. Mm -hmm. And it's way cheaper than all that yeah. staff cost. If you overhead. imagine having to employ all those people direct, then you understand why a large business or a large advertising agency has to charge what they charge. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, I think, one of the benefits of working with a small agency. We have all of those resources at our fingertips, and we're also able to hand pick um, the designer for a brand, for uh, you know, for any kind of collateral. Uh, we hand pick production teams for TV production. Mm -hmm. We handpick our web developers, so uh, you know we we assign a different vendor to each project, and then we work with them and manage them, and it works out nicely. And you're not as dependent on, on some small outfits. One person leaves, and it's oh my! Yes, I've had that rug pulled out from under me on uh, computer support before. Yeah, we're going to take yeah. a break. We'll be right back with Carol Scaff and more of Wichita's Biz That Is.